everyone, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to show you the most effective way to build one of the most interesting weapons from the DLC, the Smithscript Dagger. This weapon is truly unique, the only one in the Throwing Blades class. It's designed to throw daggers as projectiles with every attack in its full moveset. The best way to use this weapon is by two-handing the blades, allowing for a faster rate of throwing projectiles in a rapid R1 power stance moveset. While it doesn't deal a great amount of damage on its own, it can be optimized in multiple ways to become reliable and quite strong. Obviously, this special weapon is far away from being part of the PvE meta, but as you know, I like to deal a lot of damage, and that's exactly what we are going to do. The most important feature of the Smithscript Dagger is that it's infusible, meaning we can use different abilities and infusions to significantly increase its damage. This weapon scales S with dexterity in the keen affinity, but don't let that fool you, you will get insanely better results with the blood affinity. The setup I'll show you today allows you to quickly destroy all bleed vulnerable enemies and it's also ready to switch to the keen affinity for enemies immune to this effect. Unfortunately, there are only two ashes of war specifically designed for this weapon, Scattershot Throw and Piercing Throw. The first one is our best option for building up bleed quickly, while the other in my playstyle is completely useless. However, if you prefer facing enemies from a distance, Piercing Throw has an insane range, decent damage and staggers low poise enemies, which can help interrupt the annoying attacks of some foes. To get the most out of this weapon, I recommend using the basic moveset from a safe distance where you need to fight multiple enemies. In boss fights, using the Scattershot Throw will give you the highest efficiency. First of all, I'm going to show you the build and then we will beat every major boss of the game and the DLC without taking a single hit. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMO EXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMO EXP for sponsoring today's video. We are going to be using the Smith's Crypt Dagger on plus 25 with the Scattershot Throw Ash of War on the Bleed Affinity and we need any seal we have available to cast our main buffs. We need any weapon with the Raptor of the Mist Ash of War to be able to dodge the Mikkel AOE attack. Also, we can use any weapon with seppuku to trigger the effect of the bleed buffs before facing any boss fight. I'm going to be using the Rakshasa's armor set with the white mask. The Rakshasa's armor set will increase our damage by a total of 6% because we are using only 3 pieces of the full set, and the white mask will increase our damage by 10% with each bleed proc. The best talismans we can use for this build are the Lord of Blood's Exultation, the Shard of Alexander, the Smithing Talisman, and the Rodent Winds or Insignia. However, when you are going to face enemies that are immune to bleed, you can use the Millicent's Prosthesis or the Old Lord's Talisman to increase the duration of your buffs, and you can never go wrong with a defensive talisman such as the Dragon Crest Ray Shield. In our Flask of Wondrous Physic, we are going to use the Blood Sucking Crack Tear and the Thorny Crack Tear. An agreed alternative can be the Stone Barb Crack Tear, but please use the Blood Sucking Crack Tear because that is necessary to increase the damage significantly, otherwise your damage will be reduced by 20%. And with this weapon, we are going to be dealing only physical damage, that's why the best body buff is Blue Boil Aromatic. But if you don't like crafting, feel free to use Flame Grand Me Strength as well. Even though the weapon is quite small, it consumes a lot of stamina, so be sure to craft some pickle torten legs to boost your stamina regeneration speed. In order to obtain the max performance of this weapon and to have an optimal build, we are going to use 50 on vigor, 22 on mind, 40 on endurance, 80 on dexterity, 25 on faith, and 40 on arcane. Golden Vow and Flame Grand Me Strength are going to be our main buffs, and to increase the speed of our bleed build up, we are going to use the Swarm of Flies. This spell is actually very powerful against the late game bosses, so it's a must to have it in this build. And as you can see, I have my Scattershot Blessing on the level 20, and if you want to at least deal enough damage to the late bosses of the DLC, be sure to have it on the level 20 as well. Now that we have completed and optimized or built, what do you say if we begin with the boss fights? Ok guys, now I'm going to show you how to buff your character with this build and the order is assuming that in your Physic Flask you are using the Thorny Crack Tear and the Blood Sucking Crack Tear. So first we are going to use our Physic Flask, then we cast Golden Vow and then we are going to switch our seal for the weapon with the Seppuku skill, this step is completely optional. Now we are going to use our Pickle Turtle Neck, now we use our Body Buff in this case Blue Ball Aromatic, so if you are going to use Flame Grand Strength, you cannot switch your weapon until you have casted that body buff. Then you are going to refill your FP, you are going to use Seppuku, obviously you have to have the White Mass equipped, and you are going to refill your HP, and now to hand your weapon and you are ready to go. Okay, nice, clean, bro. <laughs> I will use another one. 
Can you take this? Oh my god, that was close. Nice. Get it? Get it? Nice. Nice. Finally, bro. It took me a bunch of tries. <laughs> Oh my god, that was close. That was really close, guys. I didn't react in time. Let's go! Let's do this, baby. <laughs> Finally, bro. He does this, guys. I can do it. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Oh my god, it took me so many tries as well, guys. Let's go. It's nice that she's taking instance. Nice.
Okay, here we go. Come on, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Okay, more than decent, I guess. Let's go! <laughs> guys, finally, bro! <laughs> we broke his stance! Very, very nice, man! <laughs> That is crazy. Take that. What? Did you see that? Is it this? Oh my god. Oh my god, how am I still alive? Let's go, baby! <laughs> You're not coming? Try this. Wow, that is a, an early way to get into the second phase. Wow. That is a lot of damage. Amazing. Let's go, guys. Beautiful. Nice. Okay, my guy is not doing anything. I don't know why. Oh my god, this guy. Let's go, baby. Easy. Come on. Wow. Nice the replay, bro. Nice. Let's go. Give me that crit hit. Goodbye. Oh my god, guys, this weapon, this weapon, this weapon, this weapon. Ah.